Welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary and in today's episode, it's all wet, muddy, and rainy outside. So we're going to reseal a pressure washer. Stay tuned guys. And welcome back everyone. As I said, it's muddy, it's rainy outside. I don't really feel like laying in the mud. So we're gonna reseal a pressure washer. This is great, I, but I know it's sell those flipping cars, not sell those flipping pressure washers. So uh, let me give you a little bit of story behind this. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $30, okay? $30, the guy didn't want it. Uh, it's a 2200 PSI pressure washer by Troy Bill. If you don't see that, it's Briggs and Stratton. And it's a uh, 2.2 <clears throat> max gallons per minute. All right, so it's not bad. It's a, it's a nice little pressure washer. It can do, you know, the siding on the house that we were wanting done. And then, you know, get the cars looking really nice. So when we go to sell them, they look great. Also, it was missing the uh, detergent. <laughs> Uh, canister. So we're going to go ahead and fix that with some cherry coke, you know, and uh, put that there for the de detergent. It did come with uh, what two wands and a extension wand. So it's a nice setup for thirty bucks. But if you go ahead and hook up the water on the back where you're supposed to. If you go ahead and hook up the water on the back like you're supposed to, and you turn it on, and you go ahead and start your engine, and it's running great, you go ahead and pull the trigger on the wand like you're supposed to, it doesn't build up any pressure at all, and you see the uh, water leaking from the pump itself. So that's a, that's a good indication saying the seals inside are blown, uh, which, you know, could be, they could be blown, they could be torn, they could have been uh, dry rotten and just cracked to pieces. So we're going to go ahead and pull that pump off, reseal it, put it back together, and have ourselves an operating pressure washer to get these cars looking amazing for you guys when you're checking out the videos. So let's go ahead and get a closer look and uh, we'll jump right into this. All right, so here we are on the bottom of the pressure washer. Yeah, I wanna welcome you guys to uh, the garage actually. Um, as I said, my wife took over the garage with her furniture business, but um, so I mostly work outside on the cars, but if I put a, a good, you know, inch and a half board with the tarp on top, you know, I don't think anything can get through, you know, as long as I'm careful, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to work on this uh, pressure washer and uh, see if we can go ahead and reseal this thing. As I said, I never do anything without some PB blaster because uh, I am not going to break my my back trying to get these dang bolts off. Now, uh, it looks like it's all Allen keys mounting them. Hold on, guys. Come here real quick. Oh, please don't mind. Yeah, so please don't mind the mess in the uh, garage, please, guys. All right. You see right here on the end you have these four center allen keys then you have these outside two allen keys these two outside allen keys okay let's go with the first four four are holding it to this plate here okay the two on the outside are holding it to the second plate Okay, the center one and then you have this top one here that goes up to the motor okay 
that's actually held on by these bolts here. Uh, there's one here and then one on the other side. So that holds it to the third level. Okay, We're interested in the first two levels. That's where the uh, O-rings and uh, seals are going to be that we're looking for to reseal. So just wanted to show you guys that before I started taking this uh, apart. Also, uh, any, any tools that I'm using in the video can be found in the video description down below. And, uh, yeah, I hope this really helps you guys out because uh, I know it's helping me out. <laughs> now, uh, nope. uh, also, if you're looking for some great uh, do-it-yourself auto DIY videos you found the channel guys um, I absolutely love working on the vehicles and I, I enjoy making these videos for you guys really uh, gives me something to do and I'm doing it anyways so, might as well make some videos for you guys and help you out. Because these uh, shops are just charging an insane amount of money. <clears throat> Even to reseal a pressure washer like this. Like, if you wanted to go on, um, on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace like I did and uh, find a cheap pressure washer so you can have it for your garage and uh, all it needs is resealed well if you don't do it yourself and you take it to a shop it's a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars to have uh, have your pressure washer resealed so instead of just doing it yourself um, there there is a o-ring kit specifically made for this pump and uh it's actually on amazon i'll throw it in the video description down below um fortunately i have uh some extra o-rings and uh hopefully i'll have them all I'll grab some gloves real quick Alright, I got my gloves, I feel better. Now I can finish taking this apart. You can tell by the calcium deposits on this, the previous owner they must have a hard water issue in their town. Because there's a crazy amount of calcium deposits on this thing. Oh, for its age. Uh, the guy said he bought it last year. I'm going to bring you guys over here real quick, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so I took uh, the four center bolts and the one right here. That one goes to your valve assembly here, so do not do not mess with that, okay? Uh, <clears throat> after I took those bolts out, I just grabbed it and gave it a little bit of a twist and she popped right off okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off oh yeah yeah we got a serious seal issue here you see that all right 
Oh, that's the problem. So, it would sit on the cylinders like this. These little, little things, they're kind of like little cylinders. They build up pressure, and then the, the water uh, shoots out the gun with higher pressure because of these things. Okay, But if you don't have seals, you're not going to build up pressure. Do you guys see any seals in there? Now on this side, this side we have seals on two of them. Yeah, looks like, oh yeah. Hmm, I am not gonna have that. That thing's missing all together. I am not gonna have that, guys. Looks like I have to order that seal kit in. Oh, Skippy. Hold on, hold on. Getting away from me. You know what? Found it, guys. It's stuck in there. See it? Alright. I'm going to put you guys back on the stand. Hold on. I just want to come in a little closer. Maybe you'll get a better view. I'm going to clean up some of that calcium. Pause it's in there. Make sure these seals are good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to clean up some of those calcium deposits in there. I'm going to make sure these seals are still good. I'm going to use my O-ring picks. Um, there we go. Alright, so we got this one. Get a rag or something real quick. Hmm. Yes, <clears throat> we have the lawnmower over here as well that we're going to fix in the future. So with it being uh, January, I don't really care about the lawnmower. <clears throat> but hey, whatever saves you guys money, right? Oh, these are uh, my little side projects I have to complete as well. <laughs> uh, all right. You guys see in there? What I'm doing is just wiping this calcium out. All these little deposits in there. Wiping that out. These uh these O-rings have to have a, a clear, you know, proper seating. If they're not, then they're not really gonna build up anything. The amount that built up in this thing is insane, but that's all right. Okay, looking good over here. All right, <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, these seals are okay. The O-rings definitely need replaced. Oh uh, yeah, this one's this one gone. Jeez. Let's go ahead and take these collars off. Yeah, clear this one off. This one was gone. This is gone. And this one's That one's gone too. Alright. Let me see. You get a busted O ring, guys. You see that? 
Just hold it together, match it up to uh, the new O-ring. But you gotta make sure you clear out all this stuff first. Break clean real quick. Best thing I love about brake clean is it'll clean all this stuff, all this gunk off. And we'll just just wipe it off. Right. Also, <clears throat> brake clean uh, evaporates pretty quickly, so you don't really have to worry about it pooling up. But if it makes you feel better. You can just go ahead and wipe it off. You see on there guys, you got the three side circles, the small little diaphragms are in there so don't poke in there with your o-ring pick like you're stabbing at something. If you're trying to clear out a little bit of the deposits, fine, but don't stab it. Another great way to take care of this brake clean is to use uh, the compressor. took the uh, blow gun and uh, cleaned out all the brake clean and debris that we went ahead and freed up. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these uh, sleeve gaskets okay, and I'm going to go ahead and clean those up. Um, if you do have the replacement package that I'm listing in the description down below, 
then there you go. You will have brand new ones to use. Fortunately, I do not have those <laughs> with me. And, uh... Pop those on there after I clean them up. <clears throat> All right, clean up this next one. I did find the replacement O-rings that we need. Here they are, right here. These are ORS number 16. Okay, they will be in the replacement pack uh, with the uh, other new seals. The other new seals that are going to come in the pack are your three uh, seals that go here with the diaphragms, okay? Those three and this O-ring here. So you, you'll actually get quite a bit uh, in the pack. So I'm just fortunate uh, that I have o-rings kicking around found these uh, other two o-rings that uh, were on there before they look dry rotted and pinched you can see right there you see that guys yeah pinch that can decrease pressure as well so it's good that we're taking this apart and replacing it now it's a uh, should be frequent maintenance on these anyways and it actually is just a lot of people forget all about it and uh then it comes down to a situation like this that they just sell it which is hey beneficial to me Beneficial to us, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's just go ahead and put these O rings on this side so they don't fall out like they were on the other side. And keep dropping them too, that's always fun. Those three are in. Just keep it like that. Okay, see the O rings are still in there. Here, I'm going to bring you closer, guys. One second. <laughs> yeah, baby, go ahead. I love that. I'm not going to edit that out, guys, because you know what? That's just the part. Of the excellent life in me. Yep. Six children gets you a lot of questions. All right. There you go. So we have it like this. We're just going to flip it up. Put it on. Actually, you know what? Flip this puppy. Yeah. Let the machine do the hard work, guys. I just thought about that. You know what? Let's, uh, let's write a book saying let the machines do the hard work. Yeah. There we go. All right. Put that puppy back up. There we go. We'll put 
our bolts in. You guys see? see? Okay, all right, now I can bring you back in. Look at that. And it's called multitasking, guys. There you go. Hey, hit the like button and smash that subscribe button for multitasking. Yes! <laughs> See, I love it. I love your multitasking. I try, I try. All right. So, when we bring these in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck the rest of that plate in. Properly seating those O-rings. Which, that was definitely the reason why we didn't have any pressure. Alright, on this we're going to do a star pattern, okay? So I just did that top left, we're going to do the bottom right. And then I'm going to do the bottom left right after that. The uh, the fifth bolt that's in the center there, I'm going to leave that for the last. There we go. There we go. Is it, in? it is sucked in, guys. Now I just got to tighten these last three down. Those first two are really going to you know, suck the plate in, hold it in there. So those are, are definitely ideal to uh, <laughs> get done first. So get it where it's tightened up like this. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten it a little bit more. I don't want anything getting in the way of this. I want this, you know, uh, I want this pressure washer to actually work for me for quite a while. So... So any maintenance that I have on any of the stuff that I actually use, my compressor, my pressure washer, uh, lawn mower, <laughs> anything, you know, uh, I will actually be making an episode out of it. Because that is something that you can save money on as well. And it helps you work on your cars. You know, that's the part that I like. I love working on cars, but I, the thing I love even more is finding tools to help, it, to help me work on my cars easier. You know, instead of breaking my back every day, right? Alright, there we go. It's all time back up. Let's go ahead and set it back down. Hopefully all the fuel didn't leak out of it. I'm sure quite a bit did. But I... Uh... <laughs> it's so funny. Actually, it's not funny at all. Where about I having hair in a shop, right? Alright. No, it's actually not funny at all. Uh, the smell of gas started filling the house. So, I will, the funny part, I was going to make a funny intro for it. But then, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that would go. Alright. So, let me go ahead and get it set back up outside. And we'll go ahead and test it, guys. Alright, so there we have it. We went ahead and resealed the uh, water pump on the Troy Bill 2200 pressure washer. And uh, you're good to go. That is the uh, basic maintenance that needs to be, you know, performed on these pressure washers on an annual basis. You know, as I said, you know, these uh, O-rings and seals, they dry rot, they crack, they break. And you'll start losing pressure over it. So, hey, guys, if you're looking for more auto DIY videos other than this one, this one is really going to help you if you're doing a lot of work yourself because there ain't nothing wrong with a clean vehicle and a nice, clean engine. You know, uh, Actually, did you know that automotive dealerships actually did research on this? And I actually wrote a blog about it on uh, my website as well that auto dealerships will actually pay 5% more for a vehicle if it's clean 
other, you know, 5% more than if it was dirty. Now, um, that's just crazy. So, we went ahead and resealed it. We're good. Got another video coming up that we are going to do the, uh, the unloader, uh, okay, which is right down here.